everyone! So today's video is going to be Oddities Update number 10. Before I begin, I quickly want to say a couple of things. I haven't uploaded anything since October. I apologise for that. I just really haven't physically or mentally been able to film anything. Mostly because I'm still getting like a lot of migraines and stuff like that. It makes it very difficult and I can feel another one coming on today as I'm filming this but I decided to push through anyway because I really really wanted to film something. Also just to state the obvious I did shave my head. I think I shaved it like five weeks ago so it's actually grown back quite a bit. There's no like special reason behind that or anything I just really wanted to do it so I did and I will probably end up doing it again because I don't really like how long it's grown it's like not comfortable. I should let you know my videos are still probably going to be pretty sparse with the uploading. I really appreciate your patience with all of that. Anyway that I think is all that I wanted to say that is not related to the topic of this video. So on to the oddities update. I don't actually know how you say it. Is it Impala or Impala? I feel like it's Impala. I'm gonna say that but it's probably wrong. <laughs> I got this Impala horn. I got this on eBay. And I've never seen any of these like in person before so I was pretty excited by that and it's also antique so I don't have to worry about directly funding anyone to get this if it wasn't gotten ethically. It seemed like a prime opportunity so I got it. I think next I'll show you wet specimens because I only have two to show you. Even though it's been like spring and summer which is when I usually get the most wet specimens in. I just haven't found that many fresh animals lately to preserve but that's a good thing really. It means that there's less animals out there dying hopefully. First of all this might look familiar to you because I showed you this little skink here in my last oddities update and he now sadly has a friend which is this one at the front. This one I found dead in my cat's enclosure so I'm pretty sure that he killed it. This one also dropped his tail which tells me again that it was my cat. This one I need to put in a bigger jar. This is a New Holland honey eater. This little honey eater unfortunately we found dead in the bird bath. Don't know what happened to them because we don't think that they drowned because we have like rocks and stuff in the bottom of the bird bath so that they don't drown. Their neck was a little bit broken so maybe that could have something to do with it. I don't know. That's my poor little honey eater. Very sad. Next I'll show you bones. This is a minor bird. I believe an Indian minor. And this was a very young one as you can see because the skull plates hadn't fused together yet. So the skull is like not in good shape. The skeleton is not one of my best ones I have to say. I used a different glue to what I usually would when I articulate skeletons but it ended up not being a good glue and it started like falling apart. So the wings came off the head came off, the neck like broke in different pieces and I think I finally got it all to stay because I switched back to the other glue and I also glazed it over the top to strengthen things up. I did have this up for sale on my Etsy but because it's broken so many times I just really don't want to risk this going to someone and it breaking, especially in postage because this is a very fragile skeleton. So this one is staying in my personal collection. As you can see on the mount here we've got some fake moss and I also sculpted these little mushrooms out of polymer clay and these glow in the dark which looks really cool. I don't remember where I found the minor bird. I think I found it dead in a park but I got it so many years ago. Yeah I can't remember where that came from. I would have already seen this in a couple of my videos but this is the partial deer skull. I think this is a roe deer and this I got from my sister. So this is from Germany and it is from 1983 and I'm pretty sure that they used these deer for their meat. This doesn't look like a skull but it is. This is pieces of a possum skull that I found. Also the humerus. I couldn't put it all together because there just isn't enough pieces but I actually found these like really close to the beach under some bushes. I have this little bird skull and this is from a full-grown mature minor bird. found this on a school oval when I was going for a walk. Then I also have, this is from either a pigeon or a dove. This is not the cleanest skull, I gotta say. I mean it's been put in peroxide and everything but it's still got a lot of mummified flesh. It's, it's hard to clean them when they are so fragile sometimes. I also found this one under some bushes next to the road. Then we have a very very partial skull. This is from a little corella. It was like next to a footpath. I have this random bird mandible 
that I just found on its own in some bushes and I'm fairly certain that this is from a raven. It's definitely from Corvid. I have this sheep maxilla. It's got all of the teeth. All the rest of the skull is gone. <laughs> And this is definitely from a lamb. I can't remember where I found this. It could have been on my aunt and uncle's farm that they had because they had a lot of bones there. I can't remember. Then I also have this very small piece of a cow skull. You can see there that it has one of the teeth. And I've dropped it twice, which doesn't help. And I did find this one on a walk. Next I have some rat bones. This isn't the whole skeleton. And also there's bird bones mixed in here, but I don't actually remember why. But there is. So if you remember in my last update I showed you like a really big bird bone that I found. And then I said that in my next update I'd show you one that I found that was even bigger. So this is the biggest one. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, this is big old bird humerus. I don't know what bird this is from again. But I did find it in the same place that I found the other one from the last update. And this is also where I found the piece of cow skull that I just showed you. This is like the average size and then there's this. What is this? <laughs> I don't know but yeah there it is to compare. I have another big bird humerus but it's not as big as the other one and this is only a piece of one because as you can see the bottom part has been snapped off and I don't know why but just to compare it's still smaller than the biggest one. It would have been longer I think. I can't remember where I found this. Then next I have these kangaroo ribs that I found around the same place but on different occasions. So they were just on the ground, chilling. Also I have just a little fox scapula that again I found uh, at the same place as the partial cow skull and all that stuff. I have this bird bone that I found on the beach. It's very cool. It's another humerus. I don't know why I keep finding these ones in particular but... Uh, this one that I already showed you to compare to the other bird bone, but it's another little humerus. And I found this one next to your footpath. More bird bones. This is part of the wing. I can't remember where I found these. Then I have these. I found these in the same place that I found the awesome skull pieces, which is interesting. So these are bird bones. These are ribs and vertebrae. I also found part of the keel bone from that individual as well. These next bones I have to show you are really really cool. They've become like my new favourite thing to collect at the moment. So these are what I like to call sea bones. So it's kind of like sea glass, how it gets smoothed down by the sea. It's like the same thing but with bones. So these have all washed up on the shore of the beach and they're like a bit soft from being in the sea and they're all different degrees of softness. Some are a bit rougher around the edges than others. I have this little piece of rib. They're probably from a sheep I think or a lamb but you can see it's been like softened on those edges where it's been sawed off. I've also got this one which is femur which I think is from a rabbit. This one isn't that smooth but I did find it on the beach. This is another little piece of bone. It's very smooth. This would have been sawed off as well and I don't know what animal this is from. This is the most recent one that I found and I saw it like as it was washing up on the beach which is cool. This is one of my favourites because the shape is really cool. Another sawed off one but this would have been part of a vertebra, I'm pretty sure. Chicken bone. <laughs> a bird femur. A rabbit femur. And the thing about this which is really interesting is that this is actually deformed. So if you look down you can see this is kind of crooked. like. This part here should be going straight down, not kind of off to the side like that. So I think what happened is this animal probably broke that part of their bone when they were alive and it, they survived whatever trauma occurred and it healed. And then the last sea bones I have are just these bird bones. Last bone thing to show you. These are all random bones. I found these all just scattered around in a park from what I remember and they're all from different species. So got like fish bones, bird bones, mammal bones, even I think sheep bones, there's like all different kinds in there. I will show you some very very amazing pieces that I'm so so grateful to have but at the same time their history is very sad. So these are two furs that I got. 
I got them both from the same person who was actually our pest control man because we see him every year as we have like really big problems with cockroaches and spiders, like especially white tips and red bags, which are like the really venomous ones. We see him every year for that and he always sees my collection of dead animals in here. He noticed my furs on the wall and he's like, oh I have a couple of those, I can like bring them for you and you can have them if you want. So he brought them over and just gave them to me and I offered him like, do you want some art or some money or something in exchange for these? And he didn't. They were just really awesome gifts. I got this antique fox fur stole and this was found in someone's house. I'm pretty sure he said he found these in the customer's roof space. And these are two separate customers, separate houses, that had fur in their roof. I don't know. So I'm pretty sure this was put in the roof by the person that lived in the house, like on purpose, because they didn't want to see it. They just wanted to avoid looking at the fur and having it near them, so went into the roof space. That's the extent of my knowledge on that. She's really lovely, she's so soft and her colouring is so beautiful, but it's just so, so sad to think of the life that she would have had in one of those fur farms and the death as well. I think that she's from between 1930 and 1960 I want to say, I think is what I figured out. But let me know if I'm wrong. And oh there's like a paper clip there because that's how I've been hanging her up on the wall. She's had her paws cut off, she doesn't have a nose and her ears are ripped. So she's not in the best condition but at the same time her fur is like very plush and soft. Even though I'm calling her her, I've named her Jareth, as in Jareth the Goblin King from Labyrinth. I tried to give her and the other fur like sort of themed names that go together since they came to me together. And like the colour reminded me of Jareth's blonde hair, so that's why she's called Jareth. The other one I have to show you also has a very sad story. So this is from a raccoon dog. So I I've named this one Toby, as in, again, Toby from Labyrinth, the little toddler that gets taken by Jareth. <laughs> Toby, I I believe that he was hunted. Raccoon dogs are often hunted for their fur, and so I think that's what happened. Also, often, I don't know why, if an animal has been hunted and had their fur taken, often there's this hole in the middle of their face, I guess maybe to hang them up or something, or as you can see he still has his little ears, or I don't know if you can see but they're there, and his little nose and his whiskers and everything, and he's got really very cool interesting fur, but it's pretty sad that that's probably what he was hunted for. His tail is not completely there, a lot like Jareth, they both have broken tails. Also see he has his arms and legs. Yeah, and all his claws, his paw pads, all that stuff. I don't know how old the fur would be. I mean he could be as old as Jareth but I don't know how to tell. I don't have any evidence to say that he's that old but I do feel like he would be around a similar age but that's kind of just what I think. There's the inside too by the way. Moving away from furs, I meant to show you this ages ago in another oddities update and I kept forgetting but I have this big shell. I bought this from a garage sale. I think this cost me like 50 cents, which is pretty cool. I have this kind of a shell, kind of a rock. I don't think this is quite a fossil but it looks cool and it looks like a fossil and that's kind of what I like about it. And I, I like that it's, you know, both pieces together. To go along with that, I also have what I think is more likely a fossil than that. A shell, rock, fossil-y looking thing. You can see kind of the ridges there. And I found both of these shell things just on the beach. It's raining by the way, so if you can hear that, hopefully you like the sound of rain. I also found this on the beach. I think this is called a devil's purse, which is, I think it's like an egg sack or stingrays. Yeah, I already have one of these, but the other one I have is like really mangled, so it's cool to have one that's in like a lot better condition. I have this mummified shark that I found. I actually did not find this on the beach. I found it near the beach, next to a footpath. I actually found this when I was doing my oddities scavenging video in 2019. It's a tasseled wobblegong shark. I don't know if I said that right. I, I know you can't see him very well in here because I need to clean the jar and fix up the mummification. That's the shark. I found these on the beach but they're not really beachy things. These are another thing that I meant to show you like a few updates ago and I 
kept forgetting. I found a bunch of these dead beetles on the beach. I, I don't know what kind of beetles they are, I need to figure that out. And I also have this little piece of crab carapace, I think is how you say it, because I found that around the same time. So I have like three monarch butterflies to show you. I have this one, which I think I found in my yard, I'm pretty sure. This one I found like near the beach in the middle of the road. I think my mum found this and she told me about it and I went and got it. Sadly missing one of the bottom wings, I'm not sure why, but the rest is there. I also have, the jar is really gross so please ignore that, but I also have just a piece of a butterfly wing there from the monarch. And I found that when I was on a walk, it's just like under a tree, I don't know why. It was just that bit of wing on its own. Last night I found this little dead wood moth. I'm pretty sure my cat killed this because he's brought in like four of these big moths. This is actually a small one because all the ones I, the other ones I've found are bigger. He keeps bringing them in alive and then I have to rescue them and get them outside again. This is the only one that hasn't survived that I know of. I have two more insect things to show you. So I have this little dead ladybug. I found this dead in my studio, I don't know why. I found one alive on my window and then a week later I found a dead one like around the same place but on the floor. So that's my little dead ladybug. Not sure what happened to the little guy. And then I have this. I think I found this in my bathroom but I can't remember but it's some kind of cocoon pupae something. I think it's from a moth probably. I got this big ostrich feather. My sister gave this to me and this was sold as like a craft feather. It's like very old, like it's probably vintage I think. It was still in the packaging and stuff and the packaging looked very old. Lastly I just have some old photographs to show you. These you would have seen in my birthday haul last year but these were given to me uh, by my sister. Wow it is really raining out there now. Huh. Anyway yeah got this bride holding some flowers and we've got this woman and her baby I'm guessing it's her baby and I don't know what year any of these are from by the way because uh, it doesn't say and then lastly my favorite one is this one which again I assume is a mother with her child and she's got like a lot of taxidermy stuff going on in there so that is all of my recent oddities that I've gotten thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time